Welcome to Dinosaurs A to Z, where we stomp through the alphabet and explore the extraordinary world of dinosaurs. I'm Dr. Victoria Edgerton, Eli Lilly and Company, extraordinary scientist in residence at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And I'm your guide for Dinosaurs A to Z. Today, our featured dinosaur is Oviraptor for the letter O. Oviraptor was discovered in Mongolia in 1923 by an expedition led by Roy Chapman Andrews for the American Museum of Natural History. It isn't a terribly big dinosaur. It's only about five feet long and would have weighed as much as a large dog. It would have been covered in feathers and would have flaunted some nice long arm and tail feathers. Oviraptor is a type of theropod dinosaur, but unlike most theropods, it doesn't have any sharp pointy teeth. Instead, it has a sharp, strong beak. But just because it was a theropod doesn't mean it only ate meat, although most theropods did. We know from stomach contents that Oviraptor enjoyed snacking on lizards, but the size and shape of the beak is similar to a parrot's, which has led many paleontologists to propose that Oviraptor was at least omnivorous, if not mostly herbivorous. When Oviraptor was discovered, it wasn't just a skeleton that was uncovered, but a nest of 15 eggs as well. This was an exceptional discovery. <laughs> the nest was thought to belong to a very common dinosaur in the area called Protoceratops. Paleontologists at the time assumed the eggs were in the process of being stolen by the Oviraptor when both the Oviraptor and the nest were buried. In fact, that's how Oviraptor got its name. It means egg thief. It wasn't until over 70 years later that scientists identified the eggs as those belonging to Oviraptor and that the Oviraptor was actually sitting on its nest protecting its eggs when it died. So how can a dinosaur sit on a nest without crushing its eggs? Oviraptors arranged their eggs so that the eggs were on the outside ring of the nest and the parents would sit in the middle. That way they can use their long arm and tail feathers to keep the eggs nice and warm without sitting directly on the eggs and crushing them. This behavior is called brooding and is what most birds do today. Brooding helps to regulate the temperature of the eggs and protects the eggs from weather and predation. Today, depending on the species of birds, either the male or female will sit on the nest or even both taking it in turns to take care of the eggs. That means brooding is a trait that has been passed down from the bird's dinosaurian ancestors. The discovery of Oviraptor with its nest was very exciting. This has led us to understand more about dinosaurs and where their avian descendants got some of their behavior. There are more than 30 other dinosaurs that start with the letter O. Which one will be your favorite? 